In a previous video, I showed a technique for a root pass along with some purging tips. So that video is strictly on welding the root, and I'll link it up right here if you want to go watch that. But now this video is the hot pass and the cover pass, and I'm freehanding with a TIG finger here. I'll also post a video pretty soon doing the same joint, walking the cup after the root. But the benefits of, of not walking the cup are you can back up very easily. You can go a little bit at your own pace. It's a little bit easier to change electrode angle on the fly. There are some benefits. There's also some benefits to walking the cup. We'll do that later, but this video is about freehanding with a TIG finger. So this is the hot pass, only 10 amps hotter than I welded the root. I probably could have actually welded the root at 105. It just depends on the gap. So I'm doing about the same motion that would be done if I was walking the cup. I'm kind of like doing a Z-weave type progression. And I'm using the lift arc setting on the welder, so I'm not using a foot pedal. And mostly I'm doing that, one, for one thing, it's just easier when you're doing pipe like this not to have to worry about having your foot on a pedal. And you can pretty much get your settings dialed in pretty good where you really don't need a whole lot of adjustment on the amperage. The pipe is in a tripod vise, so I'm able to just weld about a quarter of it at a time. So it's a little bit easier than, you know, going all the way from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock, which is really not that hard for TIG. You're not really fighting gravity like you would be with stainless stick or something like that. But for the sake of this video, I just thought I'd do a rollout kind of here, welding a quarter of a time, try to get some good arc shots, show the technique. And this just about wraps up the second pass or the hot pass. Get a good wire brushing done on that thing, let it cool off to where it's just warm to the touch. Now we'll do the cover pass still at 105 amps. I'm using a number eight gas lens here today with 332 2% lanthanated electrode. Probably about 20 CFH on the argon. When I do the walk in the cup video, I'll explain a little bit on what difference cup size makes for that. It doesn't make nearly as much difference for this other than the fact that I would be using more argon. I might be getting a little bit less discoloration, but it's gonna wire brush to nice and shiny anyway. On the root pass video, some people ask why in the heck I was welding a stainless steel flange in my shop. Because as most people know, these flanges like this are super expensive. Well, I got these flanges for free from my friend Roy Crumrine, and I've been meaning to do a pipe welding video like this, using them for that. Um, so here he is. I'm going to make a stand out of this for something, either for a vise or a something to hold uh, test pieces while I film videos. I'll probably just bolt that flange to a concrete floor using some anchor bolts. Or I have a, a pretty thick base plate too that's already got some holes drilled in it that I might cut this off and, and weld that on. So we'll see. So that's a hot pass and a cover pass, freehand using a TIG finger, all wire brushed and shiny. And as I mentioned earlier, coming soon will be a video on walking the cup on one of these flanges. So we'll talk about cup size, some techniques, some ways to get some practice in, and whatever else comes up. Let me leave you with this shot here. This, this sort of demonstrates how useful a TIG finger can be. I'm propping right next to that weld, going along nice and slow. It's heating up like crazy, but my knuckles are not screaming like they would be if I was trying to prop without a TIG finger. It's my product. That's how I pay for these videos. 100% sourced and made in the USA by friends and family. Thanks for watching. See you next time.